Hello everyone. So in this video, let me show you something really cool. I mean, not just cool; it is definitely very useful. Now, if you are like me, if you are one of those uh, few lucky people who prefer using Emacs, lucky or unlucky, up to you. But uh, if you are using Emacs and you like showing off, and if you are maybe using Emacs to help someone learn it like i'm doing right now i'm trying to share my knowledge whatever little i know now the thing is that when you are dealing with emacs you have to also learn different commands different uh, key bindings you know some of those key bindings are usually you know default key bindings but th there is a lot of keyboard or keystrokes involved and uh, there are a lot of lot of programs, lot of applications, even in Linux, that can actually display your keystrokes on the screen. But uh, there is a very nice package that I found called Command Log Mode, which can actually show you or show your audience, or in fact, you know anyone who is looking at your screen, all the different uh, uh, commands. Not not really keystrokes because keystrokes means that you know, it will display and everything, but the commands that you are typing. So the package name is. Uh, um, command log mode so you can actually install it from melpa and uh, uh, to turn it on so let us let us start using it so you can actually do this command log mode and now this is enabled so when you do command log mode this particular mode will be enabled in the current buffer not really any other buffer and uh, to also enable it for the whole um, I mean, across your uh, Emacs or in all the buffers, you can do global command lock mode. So I think uh, that is quite obvious. Now, while you're looking at your uh, buffer or from within your buffer where this particular mode is enabled, you can simply run this command, which is uh, CLM flash open command lock buffer. And that is it. On the right hand side, you will see this uh, very nice. Uh, Oh, sorry, I need to increase the size. Let me just do it. Uh, oh, I think I'm 40 and uh, okay, now this is good. All right, so what uh, what we are looking at on the right hand side, we have this, uh, you know, buffer, which is called as, you know, command log buffer. <laughs> and uh, while you're doing anything in your Emacs, if you press return, it will do org return. If you go up, nothing will happen, but uh, maybe you want to uh, change this these bullet points from, you know, normal bullets to maybe plus sign or one, two, three, four. So basically it is a command that you're typing. Maybe, maybe you are uh, trying to insert, let us say this um, header or a task. And this is, this is a task and you can do to do and you can maybe do control c control s to insert maybe a date and uh, with a scheduled date so basically this particular if you look here on the right hand side there is a command uh, or you know series of commands that you are actually typing and this is of course extremely useful in my opinion because uh, and this is actually simple extremely useful at the and at the same time uh, also convenient and by the way i'm just you know showing off the command which is window swap states if you are following my channel then uh, <clears throat> i'm sure you must have seen this video where i showed how to swap your buffer so there is a command called window swap states which i have uh, uh which which I, which which i have uh, which i'm running actually using this command or this key binding called control x control enter so very simple thing to do and uh, extremely useful uh, package that I think uh, we all should be using if 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 you are doing something with Emacs then uh, command log mode is a wonderful package and that is all that is all I wanted to talk about and share with all of you today thank you thank you very much bye bye